Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first in an occasional series of the Cicada Chronicles. It's May 11th, 2004, and we are going to, uh, from time to time, explore cicadas in the wild, their emergence, molting, metamorphosis, mating, egg laying, and untimely demise. And here's a Bradford pair, and what do we see? Why, it's a cicada shell. There's several of them on this tree. Good morning, and welcome back to our latest episode of Cicada Chronicles. I'm your host, the somewhat sweaty Paul Ritterhoff. It is Sunday, May 16th, 2004. And since our last episode, there has been significant emergence of the little hatchlings as they make their way in great numbers to molt, mate, and die. And so we'll go outside and listen as we go out for the uh, sound of the outer space uh, cicada sound effects. If we come over here, significant cicadas on the underside of this tree. In uh, various stages of coming out, as it were. That one's already flown the coop. Here's one that has emerged and is drying his wings. Notice the red eyes. See how close we can go there. That's pretty close. More interesting are the ones that have first emerged. And there goes one now. Hmm. This cicada. Having just emerged, see wings are still white, body of the cicada is still white, and is uh, enjoying the spring morning. A little closer to ground level, here's one that's emerging from a shell. There's a whole sequence of them. There's a full grown one. Let's zoom back a little bit. You can see immediately below the one that's just starting to emerge. One to the left there that's still climbing up the tree. And a couple of discarded shells. which will hang on the tree for months to come. There's one that's first just starting to form his wings. You can see it fluttering them gently. Good morning. I'm Paul Ritterhoff, and you are watching Cicada Chronicles. You will notice in the background the unearthly chatter of millions of sex-crazed cicadas. Quite a change from the last time we met. It seems that the hatch-out of Brood X, as it's affectionately known, is uh, reaching its peak, if not already peaked. So we're going to take a little stroll through the backyard and see what we can find. 
every once in a while you'll hear the waves of excitement pass through the crowds. It's sort of a cicada woodstock, if you will. You can see them flying around here on the rope swing. We can get close enough here. We also have a lovely hosted fern garden edged in impatience. And if you look, let's get my shadow out of the way. Um, they kind of use it as a picnic table, particularly uh, this nice one here. Just covered with hundreds of tasty cicadas. People have uh, taken to eating them, but not always recommended because sometimes you get sick. So we have uh, the ground littered, as you can see, with hundreds of carcasses, thousands even. Also, you'll notice if I can find an area of bare ground. Oh, here we go. Telltale holes where cicadas have emerged from their burrows. So you can see there are dozens per square foot. You multiply out the square footage and uh, you can see that we're in for quite a treat. Now this little fella just popped out of his shell while I was screwing around with the camera. So um, you can see the shell there to the left. He's there on or she. Hard to tell with cicadas. Is there on the right, and uh, wings have unfurled, and they'll uh, harden and dry. Notice the wings are out, fully formed, and. Uh, Nice day to be born, I'd say. Actually, not born, but entering the next wave of development. Okay, we're back. We're running out of film here. It's May 27th. But wanted to see and hear a tree with cicadas. Deafening, no? Good morning. It's June 20th and the cacophony is stilled. Occasionally the random lone cicada will wander back or forth, but we'll pan to the legacy where the female cicadas lay their eggs. And you can see significant die off of the branch tips caused by those egg-laying females. So we're almost out of film and we've come to the end of our story. So that's it for the next 17 years. We'll see you in 2021. Take care.